Dimitri Bivol puts on a stunning performance to win a unanimous decision against the Mexican superstar Saul Canelo Alvarez. What what can I say on this fight? I've, I obviously underestimated Dimitri Bivol's footwork, um, and you know, is <laughs> is is absolute, you know. <laughs> Un unwavering, unquivering ability to stick to a game plan, not get drawn in uh, when Canelo was playing possum and just absolutely put a, put a show on. And uh, <laughs> before we get too too deep into this uh, final analysis here of the of the of the fight and how it went down and how that kind of intertwined with my prediction, I just want to say. Even, even the judges could not take this away from uh, our guy, Dimitri Bivol. Um, I do think one, you know, one one five, one one three was a, a wee bit tight. Um, but you know, when, when it cut, when it was that close, I was like, they're gonna give it to Canelo, aren't they? Um, I think a lot, you know, a lot clearer, a lot fairer scorecard is what Chris Mannix had. I'll be I'll be honest. One hundred and seventeen, one hundred and eleven. You know, I, w I, I did watch the fight a few times. I didn't score it, but you know, just just by looking at it, I could I could go back and score it. But I mean, for me, I could have I could maybe a, a round or two more to Canelo, but equally, you know, a, a round or two more to Bevel. But I I mean, I don't I really don't see how I could I could have actually. Given anything much more to um, Canelo, but I think Chris Mannix's cut, uh, score cover was there thereabouts, pretty much bang on. Uh, you, you could, you couldn't, couldn't, you know, same. You couldn't argue too much with it. I think that's a lot more fairer. But for me, you know, the, the fight, the fight started out with uh, Bevel in the first round, th throw, throwing his jab, finding that range. Canelo, um, you know. Get Canelo trying to faint by dip, dipping his legs and you know making uh, side movements of the head like little mini slips, seeing if uh, Bevel would react. Of course, no no reaction. So Canelo, like he said, he he started fast. He was uh, within the first minute. He'd uh, threw a a roundhouse hook um, from <laughs> at range. It was a very long hook, and 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 started attacking that arm from early of Dimitri Bevel. Uh, and this this guy's turned into a bit of a bit of a comedian, you know. It's like Chris Mannix was like, "Do you hurt in there?" He's like, "Yeah, hurt, <laughs> hurt my arm." Uh, but yeah, his arm was uh, a little bit busted up. Nothing, nothing like uh, the Callum Smith fight. But I mean, Callum Smith footwork compared to Bevel, terrible. His his range control terrible. He was fighting like a wee man, but this, this is not about Callum Smith. This is about Dimitri Bivol. You know, for for me, he was keeping him at range with that with that jab. He was he was he was landing shots. Canel had massive troubles with the range. Um, he he just just couldn't land the shots. Bivol, you know, on occasion he would be on the ropes, maybe take a, a shot on the guard, or you know, he did take an uppercut and uh, here, there, and everywhere. But you know, for most part, he was off the ropes, and if he was on the ropes, it'd be like taking one punch, and mostly blocked, and he'd be pivoting off just like I thought he would be. But obviously, I underestimated his footwork because I just didn't think he could do that for twelve rounds. In fact, I thought he didn't. He didn't try hard enough. I thought he was letting Canelo off the hook. I thought he could have bust. Uh, you know, maybe even got the stoppage. Uh, Canelo after like the the seventh, he looked a bit. You know, dazed for for a second, he looked like he was stunned very briefly a couple of times, and he was looking a little bit tired in there. Uh, I don't see at the end in here how <laughs> Canelo's, you know, Canelo thought he won, but obviously the guy's got a big ego. He's he's wanting to take on people like Alexander Ruzek and that and and that kind of carry on, and there's already talks about a rematch. So I think. Um, in the rematch, <laughs> maybe maybe there might be some stuff going on in the background. Who knows? But I see much more of the same. I see 
a better Bivol. I, I, I think it's going to be a more dominant performance from Bivol the second time round, and maybe maybe even get the stoppage because I think he, you know, he was letting letting rounds. He was winning rounds, but he, he was making them a lot tighter than than they should have been. I think he could have absolutely dominated some of those rounds a lot more than he did. I think he was just getting a bit, you know, just. You know, maybe he just wanted to save himself for the end of the fight. I, I, I'm not sure, but you know, he great distance control, spinning, spinning off the ropes. And he was coming there with massive combinations. I didn't think he was going to be coming in with the combinations. I thought he was going to do like a, a, a you know, a bit of a sticking move like uh, Kovalev and, and 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 try and land a few right hands and a few hooks and stuff like that. But yeah, he was he was he was uh, he was coming forward. He was he was countering Canelo. He was get. Like I said, he he got the respect of Canelo to some degree because when Canelo was coming in, heads together and, and that sort of stuff, he was landing the counters on Canelo. Um, fair play to Canelo though. No 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 shame in losing the fight. He's taking on the taking on these challenges. He, he wants the rematch. He's uh, which I don't believe he'll, he'd win, but he's he's, ta he's taking on these challenges and there's no you know when it's all said and done in a hundred years or whatever. And you and the historians are going through the records, watching these fights, and say Canelo had like four, five, six, seven, eight losses, but he's fought all the top guys. I'd much rather see that in a hundred years than all these guys going out there with padded records, picking and choosing and 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 conning the fans. That's not something I want to see in boxing at all. So, fantastic performance, absolutely speechless, uh, brilliant. I just didn't think. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I can't remember exactly how I phrased it in my previous video, but I did, I did think Bivol had a shot here, and I did think he was, you know, he he could he could win it on points, but I thought he would have to be an absolute stellar performance, uh, you know, unbelievable performance to, you know, so so the judges couldn't take it away from him, and fair play to him, he, he put on that performance. He put he put on a, a crazy good performance, far beyond what I expected, and yeah, very very proud of the man. So, put put your comments of uh, in of about the fight uh, down in, down below. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you guys soon.